Hi guys doing this is Quasi here bringing with you another streaming video and this time I, I am gonna stream exactly live it says California this is California Pacific Coast USA and we're gonna stream live about World of Warcraft the launch of Battle for Azeroth as you can see I am dead ready uh, for this expansion so my uh, so I uh, got a hidden of hidden appear appearances for the artifacts we took out the Legion, and now this is the first expansion. I actually get to see it come to life in the launch. Hopefully, not, there's no lags or the servers don't crash, and we'll be fine. We're only going to be stick around for like the first 10 minutes, or if it disconnects me, and it says that the the battle is the battle net is is flooded, and that's just going to put us on a stray. This is my main right here, my undead warrior. Got my warlock. My demonology warlock. Oh, P.S. Hell, I am I am starting off the expansion with some heavy transmogs. They go with their hidden artifact appearances too. My undead hunter is a beast mastery. Then I got my my shadow priest. I am digging the colors that I made here. That is so awesome. My mage is an arcane mage, very feathery white, with the uh, with the sheep head. Really cool. My feral druid. His hidden appearance is the Owlcat, so it goes well with the shoulders that he has. My Assassination Rogue, I changed his eyes to gold, so that way he is different from my Demon Hunter. So the Demon Hunter has green eyes, and my Rogue will have yellow eyes. Very bony. My Death Knight, kind of made him look like a little bit like Sour Fang. Um, I've had people compliment my transmog because it looked like Sour Fang. It's very simple. This is a, the helmet is, um, is an heirloom the shoulders the hand gloves and the feet and the belt they're all from the garrison um horde um horde gear that you get from your garrison and the shoulder and the pants um there's just some random pieces i picked i picked up that could go well with the whole suit of course the swords don't really mesh like sour Fang, but it matches my skin so it looks cool i love it i gave him more like a zandalari trolley feel with the mask the um the belt, the hidden, our hidden artifact appearance with all the feathers. It looks really cool on my goblin shaman. He's elemental because I dig the totems. The totems look cool. My windwalker monk looks pretty cool. I finally got the stone fists. Those were awesome. Uh, they look so sick on him. I really like that. The Hulk hands. They look so nice. And of course, there's my demon hunter with the red tattoos. Made him look more jungle like, which looks pretty cool. And then I got my um, my allied races made a high mountain survival tauren. So I kind because I kind of was I was a kind of a fan of the high mountain and Lasan and Skyhorn. So they look pretty cool. So I made him into a high mountain tauren with his um, wood like um, appearance and the hidden artifact appearance with the spear. Looks really cool. And the only person that's left to level up is my Nightborn, who is a destruction warlock. Blue, and I already gave him this piece with Gul'dan's staff, so he taps into the fell. And once I get him to at least level 99, then I could also go for the green fire quest line and give him fell fire. And then very soon, when we create a new character, I will be making a, a sh an orc shaman. That's my, that's my target. Once I make my orc shaman, it's going to be something like this. Something like this, and, I, uh, I, and the way I'm seeing it is because uh, I love the war song. It's gonna be like um, Gromash, but with the Doom Hammer. So that'd be pretty cool. He's gonna be an enhancement shaman once I get once I once I unlock the Maghar orcs, along with the Maghar orc. Then hopefully I unlock the Zandalari, and we're gonna see how the Zandalari are gonna be. So for right now, let's go and take a look at this expansion. Let's be there live with my main Art Wolf. We're gonna stick around until the three until the three o'clock. 
Holy crap, this is Agramar live as we speak. There are bats. Holy crap, everybody is in a bat. Look at that. The skies are filled with bats. Oh my god, this looks so sick. Look at that. Everyone's feeling really batty about this expansion. There are literally bats everywhere. Of course, I have my bat too. Join in the fun. But we're going to wait until 3. Until the expansion launches. For the Horde! Let's go and take a look at the Horde Embassy while we kill some time. Oh, only gonna be seven minutes. I have no idea what happens. This is the first time I've ever been to a um, live launch when they launched the expansion. Most of the time, whenever the expansion comes out, I just log in like if like a like on the same day, but like a few hours later, and then boom. Either there's um, either it's flooded, there's too many people, or the servers crash and the servers not responding. Yeah, something happens. Compared to the compared to the previous Horde Embassy, when you unlocked Diamond Mountain Torn, you had Bane here and Lady Leodrin here. Etrig was like sitting over here, and you only had these two banners: the High Mountain Torn and the Nightborn. Now, what will it take to unlock the Maghar Orcs? What's it gonna take? Exalted with Honor Bound, so I'm gonna have to change my reputation from Army of the Light to Honor Bound. So let's go ahead and get that to do that. Oh, I can't do that because I haven't even started, so they're not in my reputation. Silly me. Well, I'm gonna have to do that. So my main is gonna reach Exalted. I've reached Exalted and Honor Bound on, on and Honored on certain other reputations, so that will help. And then it says earn the achievement ready for war. So what would that achievement be? It's this one. Complete the war campaign in Zandalar and Kulturas. Of course we're going to track that. There's several. Druskfar Foothold, Stormsong Valley Foothold, The Marshal's Grave at the Bottom of the Sea, Tiris Guard Sound Foothold, The First Assault, and Death of a Tide Sage, and The Strike at Bor more or less. Now I'm guessing some of these are also um, account bound, so you probably could complete some on other classes or other other characters, and they all stack up. And plus, we're going to be pursuing flying as well too. Got flying in Legion, and wow, a lot of t so much hard work, so much grinding. I used like five characters just to like build up a rep for each one. Like one for the wardens, one for the night, nightborn, and so on and so forth. And man, was it tiring and grindy, but it is worth it, especially since you're flying as a count bound. It is worth it. You unlock certain stuff, world quests become become your best friend, and um, and plus whenever and plus when my when my high mountain torrent or my nightborn get there, they already can fly through there. So questing and world quests are so much easier, and invasions too. Let's, go, let's take a look at the transmog actually, see if they updated the Legion artifacts. Uh oh, I just heard something. A dying world. Meet Magni Bonsker and Silithus. Azeroth cries out for your aid. Come to Silithus. There's something you need to see. Oh, there's all the bats flying. Let's go. Let's go to Uldum. Let's try it out. We're only going to do it for like the first 10 minutes. Let's go. My guild. Uh, my guildies. They're here too. Oh my god. We're all, we're all going to. Uh, no, it's far as here. Uldum. You go to Uldum. There it is. All right. Let's give it a shot. Let's just see. Let's just see. I'm only gonna, we're only going to see it for like the first few minutes and then I'm going to then we'll cut off the stream so that way everyone can start going have fun do your adventure have your adventures go get your heart of azeroth and let's start going to zandalar or kulturas wherever you're ending wherever whatever faction you're playing
Silithus. That is a big sword. Let's get started, guys. <laughs> Sweet, my sweet, my guildies are here too. My guild master is here. It's cool. Cool. I'm already getting XP. We're gonna level up. We're gonna start leveling up to what to 111. <laughs> Look, the XP bar just popped up. I didn't even see that. Nice. Reputation. Nope, nothing's changed. Ooh, he's like farther. Shoot, I gotta keep flying. Need faster fly prowess. No kidding. No kidding. I need to fly faster. Huh, I thought there'd be like some type of lag or right when the right when they flip the switch because it's 259 right now 259 right now and and Pacific time At the US California and I would have thought that oh, There's some more people I would have thought that um, that there'd be like a a That would shut off the Wow server altogether flip the switch give it like a minute and then boom you could log back in Hell to the chamber of the heart can mean what Azeroth. To the chamber is this way. Come on. Cool, the art style. Now the art style's changed. Of course, I'll be doing this like 12 times on my other characters, but I'll at least stream it with my main. Chamber is in ruins, champion. I'm gonna lose this one ninety necklace. Our world needs us, champion. Remember your duty to Azeroth. Azeroth calls to you, champion. She offers a gift. One born of her own essence. Oh, cool. The very Oh, that looks so nice. That looks so cool. Even the cinema, even the little cutscene when you get the heart of Azeroth. Where is it? Azeroth cries out. Heart of Azeroth, 280. Holy crap, that's high. Strength, harness the energy of raw Azeroth, awakening exceptional pieces of armor that possess talent powers. Lean powers, sorry, not talent, lean. Cool. I have a heart. Obtain the heart of Azeroth. Cool. Let's try it on. Oh, I already have it on. You can't switch it out, can you? Oh, yes, you can. Okay. Cool. Can I click this? It says one. So that means it's like level one. Azeroth cries out Absorb Azeroth to empower the heart of Azeroth. You'll be able to choose one of these rewards. The breastplate. Unlock the heart of Azeroth level one. Shift right click to view Azerite power. They each have strength. Oh, there's the Azerite power. Oh, okay. So at level one. No, at level one's up here, so you guess you pick one of these four. 
At level 2, you pick one of these, and at level 3 goes here. Or no, level... F yeah, level 3. Oh, it changes a little bit. Yeah, it changes based on um, the armor you pick. Okay. Some experience and some Azerite to get started. It changes a little bit. See? Except this part. This part does stays the same. Your spells and abilities have a chance to increase all secondary stats. By 10 for one minute. Stacks four times. Champion of Azeroth. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yeah, so some of the items change. Oh, so you pick one. Okay. Uh, I would go by the the one with the least item level that I have. I want to keep my legendary for a little bit. Legendary has been very helpful. Two ten is my weakest, so it's gonna go with the breast, the breastplate. Remember, your seal on this chamber protects the world's soul. But with all this Azerite bursting through, the seal is close to shattering. You use your amulet to absorb the Azerite. Its power should mend the chamber's seal. <laughs> That's cool. Use the necklace. Use the necklace and harness the power. It says right, it looks like a piece of like yellow gold and blue gold mixed together. That's cool. Use the heart of Azeroth. That just takes you to the cinematic. Okay. Use our Azra to mend the seal. Our world needs us, champion. I'm guessing that's in the center. Yeah, it's in the center. Harness the power. That's it. I think it's working. Keep going. Just a wee bit more. It's like getting your artifact weapon, but except we're just getting a really shiny necklace. <laughs> no! The seal is shattering! Hold on, lass! Please, hold on! You did it, champion! The chamber is secure! Power to the Forsaken. Azeroth cries out Yeah, we're gonna get the breastplate. How do they look? Let me right-click on them. I need to right-click on them. This is the shoulder. This is the head. Oh, it's roughly almost the same as the other p as the as the um, army of the light pieces. As right item. Speak with Nathan's black collar and Agrimar. This is where we go to Zandalar. close to your heart, champion. It'll see you through the dark times ahead. You just receive a piece of Azeroth armor. Open your bed. Quit Azeroth armor. I can reach out through that talisman. I may be her speaker, but you are her champion, and she needs you. Sorry, to I have fight. a phone call right now. Well, hero, you've got work to do. The teleportation huh? pad will take you back to your allies. Good luck to all of us. Oh, uh, hi, um, Officer um, Gaidos. I'm doing good. Actually, um, actually, the best time would it would be is it can is there any chance you could call me in five minutes? Okay, okay, because I'm in the middle of streaming and um, and then and I could talk to you, but give me like five minutes and I'll end this. <laughs> no, no, I'd rather talk. I'd rather talk about it. Just give me five minutes. Bye. All right, let's try on this armor piece because I want to see what this happens. A new power is available. Shift click to view. Uh, 
Oh, so I pick one of these two. Lord of War, passive. Warbreaker deals an additional damage that generates 10 rage. Oof, that would help me out a lot. Generate rage. Or Champion of Azeroth, which is another passive. Your spells and abilities have a chance to increase all secondary stats. I'm gonna try the Warbreaker one. Are you sure you want to select this power? Yes. Cool. So this, so the, so the, so the necklace collects the Azerite, and your armor is what it opens up the talents. Hmm, how many armor pieces can you wear, have on? All right, we're in Agrimar, along with everyone else. Right, here's where I speak to Nathanos. So right now we're gonna leave off here, and from here we just go to Zol uh, Zondalar. So well, that is the launch of Val for Azeroth. That is so awesome. Now I got twelve. I got to get to Zondalar, and then I got twelve more people to get their Heart of Azeroth and a piece of gear. So hope you guys have fun, and hopefully there is no lag, and you can log back in. So you guys have a good day, and thank you for watching. Bye.